I heard about Colonia Dignidad for the first time when I was nine years old. In third grade in school, we had a teacher who showed us a TV report on this Colonia Dignidad. And I, I remember, I was as a kid, I was furious. And I, I came home and, and told my mother, there's a place in Chile and there are people are kept there and they can't leave and they cannot live the way they want to live and, and we have to do something against it. Somehow this emotional, this fury that was in me as a kid stayed with me in a way. And I started to research and um, with every step that I ventured deeper into the subject, it became more interesting. I'm not getting it. What is this place? Allegedly a charitable mission, but really it's a kind of cult run by a man called Paul Schaefer, or Pires as they call him. Is there a, a lust in being evil? Is there a taste of power that you can feel? Yeah! I think I was just so fascinated by the history. I, I couldn't believe A, that this had really happened, and B, how little was known about it. Is that how you serve the Lord, you lazy slut? It is um, so much worse than I expected it. Uh, it's so much more terrible. And, it's, and that's why I think it's very important to tell this story. The material is, is pretty heavy, it's pretty dark, and to have someone that I could kind of have a laugh with, that I could kind of share that with was really important. There's three different generations. There are those who founded the place in 1961, uh, who, who joined the cult out of a uh, free will. They made a decision to go there. But then there are two more generations who have been born into Colonia Dignidad. Are you from the outside? Yes, I'm, I'm from the outside. She's from the outside. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It was, a, it was really a big adventure to uncover and discover all the things that have happened there. And then suddenly there was a point that I knew I, I really need and I want to tell this story. You're planning to escape? Okay.